beautiful souls welcome back to my channel wherever you are in the world today welcome 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 and coming in today beautiful souls I possibly well I do feel off the back of yesterday's message if you haven't seen that and you resonate with this one potentially go back and check it out but um, yesterday's message was all about walking away closing doors closing you know old chapters people places and things as I always say and these two today, beautiful souls, possibly they're just saying like an interim, like that interim period, that voidy space, potentially that some of you may be in feeling a little bit off balance. Maybe you know you need to bring life back into balance again. Maybe this move, this shift, whatever it is, internal, external or both, is moving you into this period of rebalancing yourself. But the first card out, beautiful souls, and again, I keep saying this month is all about times and um, clocks and all of those things. They just said countdown, the countdown, and I'm getting goosebumps as I say this, beautiful souls. This is a beautiful angel of patience, and she's holding the clock. And when they just showed it to me before, they said, look at the time. Now, I've pulled this card in the past, beautiful souls, but I don't believe I've ever actually looked at the time. So patience, right? We, we all get a little bit impatient. Where's my stuff? Things aren't happening far, fast enough. I thought I would have been here, but not there, you know, by this point in my time. The time on the clock, beautiful souls, is 10.10 which is a very significant number. So if you go and look that up, and I always say, you know, in both beautiful souls, you can look up the angel numbers, but also look up the biblical meaning as well. There will always be powerful messages in there for you. 10, 10, something very significant. You could be seeing 10, 10 at this time, or it could be one of those number codes that just keeps repeating over and over. I see it quite frequently, not every day, but generally at least a few times every week. Um, but that for someone or a group of you out there right now, that 1010 is either going to be a signifier or a clarifier for you, or you're going to be seeing 1010. It could be 1010 when you're watching this message at some stage. Um, you know, you could have a, an appointment that's running late and it's 1010 when it actually gets underway. There's so many different variations on that message, beautiful souls, but 1010 is a very powerful number. And, you know, this angel is just immersed in white light all around her. It's like snow, they're saying, this snowy white light and the blossom trees at the back. You could have those cherry trees, cherry blossoms um, in your garden, in your backyard, in your street, in your neighborhood. For those of you in the northern hemisphere, obviously you're going into winter. So these may be starting to flower in your neighborhoods around you. Again, could be clarifiers for you. But beautiful souls, timing, divine timing on everything in our lives. And, you know, as I said in one of my other messages, I think the time was 11 o'clock. You know, this is 10, 10 patience. So maybe there's been a delay in something that should have happened by now, or you felt as though something should have come to fruition by now or come to pass, or that time should have expired by now. Maybe a little bit more patience is required, beautiful souls. Everything is always working out for your highest and best good in divine perfect timing. The clarifier to this, beautiful souls, was angel of balance. So maybe you've been feeling a little bit out, out of balance. Maybe you feel as though things need to be brought back into balance. Maybe you've been feeling, you know, a little bit off um, in these last couple of days or last couple of weeks and really wanting to bring yourself or certain aspects of your life back into balance. And again, beautiful souls, <clears throat> if you look, they're showing me the water, right? So when you're in perfect balance, you know, that water is sitting perfectly still and perfectly even, right? And she's just intently gazing at it, right? And, the, and of course, we've got the moon here in the background. So moon's obviously going to be very significant this month. And the pyramids, okay? So solid foundations, they're just telling me right now. Maybe some of you, 
you know, are in this voidy energy at this time, feeling a little bit unbalanced, wanting to bring your life back into balance, maybe because something or some someone or a certain situation hasn't, um, well, they're just saying timed out. Um, you feel as though it's timed out, but it actually isn't. It's just delayed, right? There's a delay in the time frame. Um, however, this sits for you, beautiful souls, a few different messages coming out. But um, the pyramids, obviously solid, grounded. Maybe you need to go back outside in nature and ground at this time to bring your energy body back into balance. Um, but let's get into the messages, beautiful souls. That's just the first things that have come out for me that they've highlighted. So patience, beautiful souls, peaceful presence, letting go of desperation, now, letting go, we we're talking about letting go yesterday, moving away, walking away, new journeys, etc. Maybe for some of you, you know, that has been delayed a little bit. Maybe you thought by now this new job would have come in. Maybe you thought by now this new relationship would have happened. Maybe you thought by now that you would have moved homes or whatever that is for you. But a little bit more patience is required, beautiful souls, at this time. Letting go of desperation, and that can be hard to do when we are so passionate about something taking place and we have as I've said before we have our own set time we have our own way of thinking things are going to turn out or you know the way the storyline is going to go and when it doesn't go that way we can get frustrated irritated you know a little not desperate but just you know longing this longing for something to actually transpire in our lives this card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. So for those of you, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, something may be happening in this winter period for you all. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it is time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. So again, beautiful souls, they keep bringing me back to the words, letting go, releasing all of this energy that is in this November Scorpio period. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. Now, they're just saying, look at this other card. There's two pyramids, beautiful souls, in this in this picture. Right now, she's intently focused on the water, bringing everything back into balance and equilibrium. But maybe she's also so focused on one way that she can't see the other options in the background. Remember what I've said before, beautiful souls, God and your soul team know how to bring you exactly what you need, better than what you expected at the divine perfect time, right? But it usually will not be in the way, the form, the person, the situation that you think it will come. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential opportunities, right, that may be coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Okay, be patient, be open, be creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present moment. The universe has more options than you may ever be aware of. Quieten your mind, broaden your perspective and let them come through. Affirmation, I pursue my goals with open receptivity. I am patient and flexible willing to receive in many surprising and imaginative ways. Let go and let God, beautiful souls, is what they just said. Just allow things to unfold in its own natural way, in its own natural state, the way the, that God and the universe, your soul team, your spirit team, your angels have it all worked out. They understand what's going on, whatever this situation is in your life. Just know, beautiful souls, that whatever you're focused so intently on at this time, it may not come through in this form. 
it may come through in a form completely different with other options attached to it. So just stay open. Remember, shifting our perspective at all times, you know, they're just saying again, having that higher awareness, that higher viewpoint. Don't take things so personally, they're saying right now. 48, angel of balance, being centered and self-honoring in your choices. This loving presence holds a pitcher of liquid, in front of the pyramids, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation. Now, what have I said before, beautiful souls, about many of you out there carrying big soul missions, right? And to carry that destiny through in divine timing, we have to be completely grounded and solid in ourselves, in our thinking, in all of those things, beautiful souls. Uh, a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. Although things may have been out of sync in the past and that walking away and everything, if you've closed old doors and closed old chapters and walked away from relationships or careers or whatever it's been, you may have been feeling in that really, they're just saying like cold like winter. Some of you may have felt that way, like you've just been deserted out in the cold. They're just saying, just know that everything's working out in divine, perfect timing, beautiful souls. This card is telling you that a greater equilibrium is now coming into your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energy as well. So just remember that they're just saying the trifecta, right, is mind, body, spirit. So maybe some of you have been so intently focused on only one area of your life, you've ignored others. So this they may also be out of balance at this time. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her intention into your heart center. Everything is about the heart, beautiful souls. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction. And the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach, right? Follow the light, they just said. Follow the light. And the little affirmation, beautiful soul, says, I live a balanced and centered life. As I care for myself, the universe cares for me also, right? As within, so as without. So it's just a mirror image, beautiful souls. When we're centered, usually, usually, unless there's big things that are about to time off in your life, usually when we are calm and centered, the world around us is calm and centered. Our, our space is calm and centered. Our energy is calm and centered. And again, as I said, beautiful souls, maybe for some of you, you feel as though your time is up, you've missed it, you know, they're showing me like at a um, train station or a bus station, you feel as though you've missed the opportunity, but no, no, beautiful souls, there is a set time for everything. And as I said, for many of you in the Northern Hemisphere, something obviously is about to bloom or be set off in that winter period for you. So beautiful souls, beautiful messages, a little bit of, um, you know, imbalance, you know, a bit of frustration coming in. Remember, timing is everything and we hear it all the time and we, do, we can get frustrated just by that. That can irritate us, but just know, beautiful souls, that your soul team have got you. They've completely got you. They understand what's going on. They know the best path, the right time the right people, the destiny helpers, the location, the job, the person, whatever they, this has been for you, right, just know that it's coming in in its divine set time. And as I said, 10, 10 on the clock, winter time, cherry blossoms, you know, the um, pyramids in the background, again, the moon phases, all of these things could be clarifiers and signifiers for you at this time. Let me know in the comments, beautiful souls. I'm sending you all so much love. Have the most amazing day and I will see you in here for the next one. Bye for now.